In this tutorial, we'll look at three important mixed methods functions in MaxQDA. The cross tab for grouping code frequencies by variable values, the interactive quote matrix for group displays of the coded segments themselves, and finally the typology table for displaying mean values and standard deviations. To use these functions, the project must contain document variables. If you've not yet dealt with document variables, it's best to first watch that video tutorial and then come back here. You'll find the link to that video in the description. Let's start with the cross tab. You can use this tool to find out how often certain codes were assigned within different groups of your cases. To generate a cross tab, first activate the codes you want to examine and then click on the cross tab function in the mixed methods tab. In the dialog window that opens, first activate this checkbox here so that for each selected variable, all existing variable values are entered automatically. A separate column is then created in the cross tab for each entry in this window. After clicking OK, you'll see the selected codes on the left and the selected variable values in the columns. In each cell, you can now see how often the respective code has been assigned in those documents that fulfill the condition shown in the columns. If you want the top codes to show cumulative frequencies for their respective subcodes, then you must first open the code hierarchy here and then fold in the desired code. With these icons above, you can display line or column percentages instead of frequencies, count codes per document only once, or show and hide a sum column. This icon highlights higher values in colour so that you can interpret the table more quickly and here you can export the table. It will be exported exactly as it is shown here. Now let's look at the interactive quote matrix. With this tool you can examine your data according to the same grouping principle as with the cross tab, but this time the code frequencies are not compiled, but the coded segments themselves. You can open the function here, and select the columns in the same way as before with the cross tab. After clicking OK, you'll now get a clear table with the coded segments broken down by the variable values. Here on the left, you can switch between different codes and compare what was coded in the groups. Up here, you can select whether you want to show or hide the source, coding comments, and memos assigned to the segments. And another tip, from a cross tab, you can display the same data directly in a quote matrix with just one click. Finally, let's take a look at the typology table. With this function, you can compare variables and single variable values for different groups, here also called types. The procedure is similar to the functions we've already discussed, but first you select single variables or variable values, and then in the next step, you can create groups for the table columns in the window we've already seen a number of times. The result looks like this. Here you can see the mean values and the standard deviations of the groups for the numerical variables. With these icons here, you can highlight the lowest or highest values in colour, and of course export the table into different file formats. And that's it!